Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to the channel where we take awesome out of the box. My name is Jamie and in this video we're going to be talking about the Honor Play which has got to be one of the best bang for your buck smartphones that you can buy right now especially if you're looking for something that you can treat like a handheld console. Now I'm going to be comparing it against another crowd favorite, the Oppo F9 that was just released a couple of weeks ago to see what it can really do in the gaming department. But first, let's talk about the hardware that these phones are packing. Despite its 15,990 peso price tag, the Honor Play is rocking a Kirin 970 processor, an SoC that can be found on current Huawei flagship devices. That's paired with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. It also has a 3,750mAh battery to help you game longer and it supports fast charging to help you get back into the action faster too. The Honor Play is also equipped with GPU Boost that should help you squeeze out more performance on your phone while playing games. The Oppo F9 on the other hand has a MediaTek Helio P60 under the hood with 6GB of RAM and 64GB of expandable storage. It's one of the best iterations of the F series so far and it's quite a head turner with its gorgeous design. Providing juice to the F9 is a 3500mAh battery that also gives the phone enough juice to last the day, plus supports Oppo's take on fast charging, VOOC. Now clearly, there's a huge gap between the two phones when it comes to their processing package, but the Oppo F9 does win in the RAM department. Now let's see what the actual gameplay has to say. We're going to be using a program called GameBench to measure the frame rates. So let's get to it. Let's start with Asphalt 9. First up, the Honor Play, and as you can see, everything is running smoothly with hardly any dips to the frame rates. The results after 15 minutes of testing is an average of 30 frames per second, which is the maximum you can get on Asphalt 9. We even maxed out the graphics to see how it would run, and we managed to get the same results as well with a few more dips here and there. The Oppo F9 noticeably struggled on default settings at the start of each race when all the cars were all on the screen, but even out to 23 frames per second as the race went on. The results aren't bad, but we recommend bumping down the settings if you decide to pick up this phone. Next up, PUBG Mobile. On the Honor Play, we maxed out the settings as far as we could on high with ultra frame rates. This was no issue with the Honor Play as we were able to get an average of 40 frames per second. You're getting a few dips as textures pop in, but it's nothing too bad, and firefights were absolutely smooth, but it doesn't help since I'm not good at this game. Things are a little better for the Oppo F9 on PUBG Mobile, getting an average of 26 frames per second with 86% stability. Take note that we were only able to set the F9 to high frame rates, which limits the game to 30 frames per second. You're definitely getting more dips on this device, but nothing horrible enough to be game breaking. Now, another thing that we noticed is that the Honor Play has pretty good audio as well. You can push it really hard on the volume, but it remains pretty clear and has a balanced sound profile. Now, the Oppo F9 does produce a great amount of volume, but there's a bit of distortion once you push it past 80%. Here, have a listen. For battery life, the Honor Play definitely gets the edge. Using PC Mark's battery benchmarks, it managed a time of 9 hours and 26 minutes, while the Oppo F9 clocked in at 8 hours and 40 minutes. Both phones have enough juice to last the whole day with moderate to heavy use though. It's not a bad showing for the Oppo F9, but clearly the Honor Play has the edge here. So that pretty much does it for this video on the Honor Play and its gaming chops. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next ones. If you have any questions or just want to share your thoughts, leave them in the comment section down below. For all the latest tech news and gadget reviews, head to unbox.ph. Plus, follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. My name is Jamie. Peace, God bless, and see you next time.